Hello everyone, this is Miss Brie Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. It's another first look, y'all. We haven't done this in so long. Um, we are doing a Pico. Pico is a laid-back beekeeping sim game about breeding, collecting, and conserving bees. Set in a series of lush environments, a Pico uniquely combines resource gathering, biology, and beekeeping minigames, taking ideas from a mix of real life and fantasy apiculture and floriculture. The developers are team T engineer. Team, team engineers <laughs> and publisher white thorn games the game released when you're seeing this yesterday so uh march 20th um at 1999 they might have had a sale i'm not sure you can check it out um it's actually available on i, I think from what the steam page says mac os they said it's steam um deck compatible and linux so that's pretty cool but um yeah so this game y'all i actually played this game a couple of um actually no i want to show you something uh months when i say couple it, it was probably like last year um i played this game demo on steam next fest and really loved it so i definitely wanted to um play it when it came out but i forgot i had asked for a key from key mailer so thank you key mailer for providing me with a key uh and the publishers who you know approved it <laughs> and gave it to me um for being able to cover this game all right, so let's get started. Um, I wanted to show that this game actually in the settings has accessibility settings. So I don't know, I just feel like it's important to to kind of show this off because I believe it or not, not every game really has things like this. Um, so you can take a screenshot here if you want to take a look and see, you know, what it has, but it might be helpful for you um if you um you know are interested in what they have for accessibility. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. New world. All right, so not many character um customizations as you can see like with the hair it's like a ponytail it's out um a buzz cut oh i like a little afro oh that's cute a little uh bee hat actually it's a lot more than i thought it was let's do the afro because you know me um love the fro let's do some blue hair and then uh skin color uh let's see do I want this one or, eh, let's do this one we could do our overalls. Let's just kind of match. Let's do blue for the overalls. And then the undershirt, we can do maybe yellow, like blue. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. So um, I don't mind when it's not too, like when the game isn't a life sim type game, I don't mind having tons of customization. The important thing for me is hair options and skin tone options. Like if you have those at least, then I'm happy <laughs> when it comes to games like this. All right, so Brie, at sale, let's go. So the cute thing is this game actually came out um, on World B Day. So that, I thought that was nice. And they also mentioned some things that they were doing to help, um, you know, the environment and bees, um, some charity work that they're doing. I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but they are doing something. So definitely go check out their Steam page um, on that. All right, so it says, Dear Brie, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition, and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out there with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Aww. Thanks, Nana. Oh, look, it says 2394. So this is supposed to take place like back then. Oh, we made it, Brie. And just as you were getting your sea legs. <laughs> Here we are, Puerto Pico. And what a lurf. I forgot about that. What a lovely day it is. <laughs> well, jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way around the place? <laughs> no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place at the back of my boat. Take map. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzing ever since you let her. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive, mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. <laughs> Ah. All right, so we're it's it, the game is doing this. I'm not doing it. 
Oh, Bree, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had a breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? I want the boat over. Do you feel sick or? I'm sorry, here's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to both of us, or to us both. Hey, guide. You can view the guide at any time with G. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through and I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I've talked the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. Nah. Probably a lot of bee puns in this game. All right. So I'm going to try not to go overboard in this game because since I did play the demo, like I kind of know um like certain things, but I kind of I, I kind of want to stay, I guess, the course at least as far as I can, if that makes sense. All right. So uh it P W A S D. So let's get in to start with the guidebook. So as you can see here, all this stuff here is um is blanked out because we haven't unlocked it yet. I like that. Keep me from going too far ahead. <laughs> all right, let me get my tea first. All right. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book at any time by pressing G or clicking the icon in the bottom middle toolbar. You can close any books and all menus in the game by pressing escape. As you progress, you unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, have a freebie. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. <laughs> all right, so we're getting a common bee. Let's claim the common bee. It unlocks getting around. In a Pico, you can move up, down, left, right with WASD. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information and how you can use it. Useful, huh? You can interact with anything around you with the mouse. You can reach quite far with those little arms. Cute little arms. You can. Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds. Just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take this axe. All right, so we're getting a wooden axe. Durability of 150. We do have durability of tools in this game. Next up, gathering resources. When you click something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with, I guess, the mouse. Select that fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar one through eight or pick it up with the mouse. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling with your mouse scroll wheel. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said, don't think about it. Go and click on some trees with the axe. You can hold down the, I guess, tool to collect 10 logs and then come back here for a reward. All right, so the way this is set up, if they tell you the requirement and then they tell you what you get, this reminds me of like the quest books in um like modded Minecraft. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so here we have our um tool our axe here. So I can hit four and it'll put it on it. Uh, I'm actually, so I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know where I want to, uh, live <laughs> or at least start. And I want to do it like up here somewhere. So, um, I'm going to start, um, chopping up some trees here. So she did take a 10. And if you look up on top and out hot bar, we have, um, seven, eight, we're getting wood. Clear that. And we're getting um some acorns. All right, so we have the 10 that we need. So let me just go ahead and uh G. All right, so we got the 10. Let's claim our workbench. All right, resource management. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. So clicking will pick up any item in the slot to move it to another slot. Right click will pick up half of an item stack or drop one item from the stack you picked up. 
and then scroll wheel on an item to collect as many of that item as you have in that menu. All right, so we're getting a small crate. That's really nice that they kind of give you um storage off the bat because you know some games don't be doing that. But what they were showing you is like up here, you see how we only have the hot bar? Hit E, we can extend to the next two rows of our uh, inventory. So that's pretty cool. All right, crafting. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with the left mouse button to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one and come back here, would you kindly? Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menus. So you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. That is so stinking helpful and I'm glad they did that. So um, we need to go ahead and craft the saw bench and they'll give us 20 logs. All right, so I don't want it like in my way. So let's do some hit eight. Let's go ahead and put it like down here or something. Let's click it. And so let's see, we want this. Yep, and we have enough sticks. We only needed 10. Let's go ahead and craft. All right, so let's close this. Uh, all right. Let's just head on to our book, claim our wood, and move on to next steps. That's all from this introduction, but don't worry, we're not gonna leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds great actually. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of the book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards, so make sure you keep an eye here. Now go little one, be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty in here, that's all. Just dust. Go and take this with you. <laughs> that is so funny. So we got another axe, um, so that's nice. All right, so we've opened up Carpentry one-on-one, -on -one, Menu Magic, Finding Bees and Flower Power, and Tapping Trees. So we're going to just stick with this Carpentry one first before we go moving on um, to, to Menu Magic. Let's go to carpentry. Now you have a saw bench, you can start cutting your logs into other materials. Place a log in the left input slot and you'll then see a little circle handle appear. Click and drag with your mouse left to right to cut your logs into wooden planks. You can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks, which are used for crafting tools and throwing at birds, trying to steal your stuff. Oh, I don't even remember that. Eventually you'll be able to upgrade your tools and won't have to chop wood by hand unless that's your sort of thing, no judgment here. All right, so we need to get 10 sticks and 10 planks and we'll get 50 planks back. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's grab, okay, so we already have our saw bench in hand. So let's place that down. All right, I love how you can do this. Like you see, if I move this here, it like as I'm moving it or hovering over, you see the line is telling me that's coming from that uh, that machine. So like sometimes I'll have multiple open, like I have this over here. And if you have storage down, you can have your storage one open. It's just real convenient the way they kind of crafted this whole um, menu or inventory thing, whatever. All right. Um. So we need, I can't remember how many um, it takes. Let's just do one. So like they said, you can do it like this with your mouse back and forth one time, you get two. Okay. So let me see now how many sticks I get from this. Two. Okay, so we really only need half. We only we really only need half as many. Okay. We need ten and five then. So I should I I think if I'm if I'm thinking about this right. So like, I'm gonna stop doing this with my mouse and I'm gonna use my left and right button on my keyboard. So like, you won't see my mouse moving, but you'll see me doing this going back and forth. All right, so that should be enough. I love this little inventory down here too, that it kind of stays there. All right, so now we just need to get 10 sticks. We have two, so it's four, six, eight, 10. Yep, so I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. All right, so let's hit E. And then, so 
I can't remember if they're going to mention this, but you see this little orange thing right here? That means that if I shift click, what I'm shift clicking will go into whatever inventory is orange. So if I make this one orange, then I would be shift clicking. If I shift click something here, it knows to go here. But I want to put this stuff back in my inventory because we didn't put the um the storage down yet. So I'm going to make sure this is there and I'm going to shift and click all this stuff back into my main um inventory. And then I'm going to, oh, eh, I'll leave that in there. And then I'm going to close that, close that. Let's go to our book. All right, so let's claim. All right, so let's move on to basic tools. To collect certain resources, you need the right tools for the job. You can't just go around punching trees. Axes let you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxes let you mine stone from rocks. Spades let you dig up placed seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up placed crafting items, beehives, and tiles. If you make yourself one of each, I'll give you a bunch of rocks. Don't ever say I don't give you nice things. <laughs> All right, so we need to make a pickaxe, a spade, and a wooden hammer. Oh, y'all, I'm so rusty with my first looks that I forgot to get my little spiel. So with first look, they could be anywhere from one to however many episodes. Um, so in this case, you know, I'm going to go as many as I feel like I need to go. However, I'm trying something brand new with my first looks to where I'm actually going to post them all at the same time. So no matter how many I record, I'm going to finish recording them and then both upload them. So you can kind of watch it like a mini series, like on Netflix or something like that. So um, I just think that'll work better because I do have other games on my channel that have like their days and I want to make sure I can get as much content in as I can. So yeah, just a little plug because I forgot. I'm rusty, y'all. I'm rusty. All right, so let's head in here. And uh, all right, so I hate the way if I hover over something, it doesn't get rid of the new. So I'm gonna just click on all of these to get rid of that new because it's driving me nuts. But if you're curious, we have a um the saw bench we unlock, the workbench. Small crate, large crate, a bench. You can use a bench to pass time. Like you can like sit on it. There's, as far as I've seen, there's like no sleeping, but you can pass time using a bench. Um, trash can, and then some stuff we have not unlocked. So like a rain tank, a barrel, a wooden cog, waterproofing, glue, a sign, a sawmill, infuser, fermenter, a bottle rack, and then a magazine rack. Then here are all the tools that we're gonna have to get. Then we have some bee stuff. So there's a beehive, a bee box, a basic apiary, advanced apiary, swarmer, re rehabilitator, <laughs> uh, a predictor, a wooden frame, treated frame, uncapping bench, extractor, uncapper, centrifuge, and sawdust bricks. Then here we have, which we'll get to, wooden flooring, wood panel flooring, wood edge, then stone flooring, stone panel flooring, stone edging, a uh, pier flooring, wood wall, stone wall, grass wall, a uh, wood fence, small flower pot, large flower pot, hydroplanic, hydroponic flower pot, a lantern, a lamp, and a pawn shine in a bottle. And then um, we have a brush and then there's a scraper and all of these are just dyes. Yeah, all these are dyes. All right, um, and then a tree tap. We haven't gotten there yet. So we need to make these four things right here. Well, three. So let's get, okay. So I need 20 more. Let me just go do that now. But watch, here's, here's the great part, y'all. Like here's the really nice part. I can actually open that and just like start doing this, leaving this open. So let's go ahead and get um, 20 more of these. Just genius, whoever thought to do this or add it. Okay, so that's enough. And look, you see how like, it knows because this, what the book was saying before, it knows that this window was open and that I have 20 sticks. So it's showing up here for me to be able to make these tools. So that's cool. Let's make that our spade and our pick. All right, that's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just open that, shift click to take my stuff back and leave that sawdust in there. 
And I'm actually going to just for now close everything and open our book. And now we're going to claim our reward, which is stone. Got some stone. Ooh. And it says new recipes unlocked. Check your workbench. Let's see what we unlocked. No ooh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Be careful. You don't want to be holding um <laughs> your hammer. When, you're, as a matter of fact, let's just do this. I don't want to be holding the hammer, clicking on stuff, and I'm end up breaking it. All right, so now, ooh, that's dirty. Why they make me spend all of that just to immediately give me stone stuff? I might as well upgrade everything. So now we got some stone tools. We unlocked the stone um, floorings and walls that we went through before. And then we, oh, a scraper. We unlocked the scraper. Okay. So we don't really need that right now. Well, we unlocked it. Hmm. So now I'm tempted. I'm like, I feel like I might be getting ahead of myself here. But what if, what if, let's make, I don't want to upgrade the axe. Obviously, you're probably going to have to chop a lot of trees. So, um, sorry, make sure it's clipped. Yep. So let's do, let's just do the axe and the pickaxe. I think that's all we have enough for anyway. Yeah. All right. So let's do the axe and the pickaxe. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So actually, what I kind of want to do is let's just use up these first. But at least I know I have these waiting for me, you know, like, and not, oh crap, I don't have anything to, to make it. Like they can just be used up and then I have what I need to go, to go on. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we got that. Next, get building. You know, you don't have to just live in a wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I think it's time we got you building your own place. Place tiles and walls will automatically snap to the grid. You can hold down left mouse button the place multiple at once if you make a mistake you can use a hammer to pick it back up again all right so it wants us to make 16 walls and 16 floors um and we'll get y'all this is why you just follow the instructions they're gonna give us a stone hammer i'm glad we didn't make one i'm so glad we didn't make one that's how it is in games though I, you do that all the time all right, so where was that? Here it is. So we need to make 16 of these. So four times four. All right, and then 16 of these, even though I think we might need more, but we'll see what they give us. And then I think I'm, I want one of these, but let me not make it yet. Let me see what they give us first. All right, so now we're getting the stone hammer. Thank you. All right, so it doesn't look like they're actually giving that to us. All right, so let's just get back to this. I want to make one of these, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. All right, so E. Uh, let's do this. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that get our, oh, sorry, four. Pretty sure we need to clear some space here. It's very sensitive as to like what's around it. Like I think you can't even have a tree in the um, like right next to the spot that you're trying to build in without it having a fit. So pick that up. Five. Oh no, that's too big. It is. Wait, can I use that to do it? Maybe. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, shiny achievement and learning the ropes achievement. New discovery. I never seen. I didn't. I, I must have not done this, or it wasn't in the demo. And I'm like, what? All right, so we discovered the Rocky Bee, the Apis Petra. 
normal variant found, blessed variant found. Okay. The Apis Petra secretes a highly acidic saliva, which it uses to mulch out great warrens through bedrock. Curiously, however, they leave manufactured stone untouched, a relief to the homeowners of the archipelago. All right, so special produce. They make stone. Oh, small rocks that are formed while, or pebbles, while the hive is working can be used in crafting. That's cool. Conservation status lost. Rehabilitate more bees to save this species. Oh, y'all, there's 35 bees. Oh, no, overview 35. Okay. So there are all these bees. Tier 1 bees, common, forest, virgin, uncommon. Then there are all these tier 2 bees, tier 3, tier 4, and then one tier 5 sacred bee. Okay, this reminds me of, um in Modded Minecraft, there is a, a mod resourceful bees um kind of reminds me of that <laughs> i love that mod by the way all right um yeah we won't get into the, all this yet let's just continue with the what they told us to do all right uh four we got i think this might be enough space let's see i just want to do like a four by four and then um shoot yeah, I told you something's in the way. Is it this? I don't know, but that's gonna be in the way. I know that might be in the way. This might be in the way, and these two might be in the way. Okay. Ooh, all right. And then um, let's go ahead and move. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Where's my hammer? Let's just use that hammer for now. Let's grab our stuff. Uh, you. What do I need? Oh, this. Okay. So I want to put these in the house. Maybe put it on that side or something. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I want to put one of those there. And then... We're going to do this. Oh, it's in the way. See, I, t I told y'all it was very sensitive regarding, like, what's next to it. It just doesn't like things being too close. And you can see how late it is. Like, like I said, there's no actual like going to bed. Um, I can just, if I want to, I can sleep, uh, sit on the, make a bench and sleep on the bench, but we're not going to do that. Okay. I need one, two, three more, um, three more walls. So, oh, and I can get four. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three. All right. So now you can see we got a little home and I, I and I did this because if you look down here, that's kind of how they have it, where it's like the walls and the outside. And then this is kind of like the entrance. Um, she has windows though. We ain't got no windows. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of don't want to sleep the night away just yet because we just have so much to do still. Let's go ahead and place our crate maybe like in this corner here. And then we can start, um, let's make this the target. And then let's start putting stuff that we don't really need to keep on us. Like, I don't need any more walls and floors on me. Oh, we got a queen bee, a rocky queen. Pure bed, bed, pure bread. Use a microscope on this species to learn more. Oh, that's cool. I want to put our bees away too. because We're not really doing anything with them just yet. Put our sawdust away, some of these things. That's fine. And then tools that we're using for now. Actually, let's put this away. I don't really need that for now. We're going to use up that one. I don't know why I didn't just wait. Oh, never mind. I said why. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So we are all organized. We have our 
inventory. So let's see what we need to do. All right, uh, we claim that. All right, so paint the town. So you built yourself a cute little house or decided to embrace the forest hermit life. No judgment here. Now, wouldn't it just be sweet as a honey if you could paint that little house or color code your storage? Well, good news. You can craft dyes using flowers and glue and use a paintbrush to paint any tile wall or object any color you like. If you decide you want a change of scenery, you can craft a scraper to remove it. Oh, okay. We need to make 32 dyes. Let's hold shift. Okay, it doesn't really tell us. Oh, just make a brush. We can do that. Let's head over to our trusted craft table. I think it was right here. But it's not this brush though. Unless it doesn't matter what kind of brush you make. Hmm. All right, so let's open our storage. And as you can see, as soon as we open, so like, I'm gonna show you. Look at this number right here for the wooden planks. You see how it's red, zero out of five. As soon as I click on storage to open it, it now says we have some. So cool. All right, so now we need our saw bench. And then we need to, actually, I should just put that in there. If then I don't need to do this. Yeah, okay. So we need uh, sticks, five sticks. So let's first, I guess, use this and get some sticks. Okay, we have what we need. So let's say craft. All right. It's not in our inventory. Oh, hold on. Let's make that and then shift click and shift. Oh, can I, ooh, can't fit anything else. Ooh. How about we make another, how big is a large? I and mean, we're only for the large. 10 sticks, that's fine. Let's just do, um, mm. all right, so 10 sticks, and then we need 10 of these. Yeah, I'll make a few more, it won't hurt. Okay, so let's craft. Get rid of that. Let's put, maybe like right behind it or something. And then what I wanna do is like, hmm. Maybe use this one for like, Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Make this the target. Ugh, forgot. All right, yeah. So all my like wooden stuff, so floors and not wood, resources. Yeah. And then all of these things can stay in the small crate. Okay. That works. And the sawdust can stay in there for now. All right. So now we're going to be able to claim our die so how does this work it's already red we'll oh we'll use the first die found in your inventory okay so if we had another color i wonder hold on let's just play around a little bit yellow die so how do we like can we unlock Oh, we can't make it yet because we don't have glue. And I don't think we've even unlocked glue. Glue is a lily pad. It's a lily pad. Let's just see, y'all. Let's just see. Can I get this? I can. New recipes unlocked. So we can make glue. Craft. We just made glue. And so now glue is, I kind of like that you can force it. Like you unlock it because I hovered over it, saw what we needed and then made it, you know? That's kind of cool. So here, um, oh, we unlocked a wooden canister. I think I have to get sap from the trees. 
Okay. So yellow dye needs glue. Oh, and a beekeeper's delight. I don't even... Hold on. Let's see what this flower is. Excuse me. Oh, God. You're going to be a problem. Get out the way. Thank you. You too. Get some wood. All right. What's this right here? A beekeeper. What is this? Y'all, are there baddies in this game? Oh, my goodness. Let's go see. I know, I know, I know. Brittany normally is not like this, but it was new year, new me. Is it bad? Hello? Merchant. What are you buying? Talk? Got some red things on sale, stranger. Oh, it's a merchant shop. They're selling bottled Apicola for 20 rubies. Okay. They're selling a bee bank. You need to have discovered at least 22 bees to buy this item. Hive Mother Gate. Okay, so this is stuff that we can't even get right now. Either we don't have rubies or we don't have enough, um, like, haven't done enough. Okay. Montecola Mysterious Frame. Blue carpet. Ooh. Yellow carpet. Volps. Oh, Volpe. That's how we say that. Honeycore Crystal. And the Hive Mother Altar. Okay. Yeah, I was scared. I was like, I don't remember there being, like, baddies in this game. I don't remember that. Anyway, all right, so let's just go back and finish what we were supposed to be doing, which was seeing if we can make, like, get this to pop. So, yellow dye, here we go. And then glue. But we, we made glue. We made waterproofing. That's glue. And I have no idea where to get propolis from. Oh my gosh. But we did unlock a rain tank, a barrel, and an infuser. Okay. All right. So we claim that. All right, y'all. So I think this is a good spot to stop this first episode. Um, definitely doing another one because I feel like we have barely even scratched the surface of this game like we haven't even gotten into the bees part um which we'll do next time um we'll probably head into this menu magic section and then start with the finding bees and uh get into the tapping trees I think we're gonna have to do that um like that might be where we get the propolis from if I remember correctly not sure but anyway y'all this was fun. This was fun. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you get to see more. And I will talk to you in the next episode. So don't go anywhere. Just let it keep playing. <laughs> Bye.